Well, folks, we've been showing on social media. We have a lot of projects going on here at the garage shop, what we call, might call the off season. Right now, we're talking to Wayne Yurton. He's the owner of this 1965 Corvette. He's from San Jose, California. First of all, how did this car end up here with us at the garage shop? Yes, yeah, so I've always been a big fan of C2 Corvettes, and uh, I do a lot of restoration on 63 through 67 Corvettes. And this car caught my eye. I mean, it's got uh, you know, it's got the '80s flares and had a non-stock motor in it, non-factory side pipes. So um, yeah, this one just kind of caught my eye and and brought it into the collection. And how did it end up here at the garage shop? Let's take a let's take a look at the car in better detail while we talk to you here. It's yeah. a beautiful car, by the way. But I, this is the part we should probably tell people: don't get used to it looking like this because there's gonna be some changes to this car, and we're gonna explain that in a minute. So anyhow, tell us about this beautiful machine. Yeah, so I've always had this dream to, to run a car at Bonneville, and uh, of course it had to be a C2 Corvette. 65 was the first year of the big block, and that's the kind of motor we want to run in it. Um, in the class we're going to run, we cannot have the, uh, the actual flares, so we're going to go back to original body style that's required in our class. So the flares are coming off. Flares will be coming off. The flares went on. And now they're coming off. I think okay. the flares went on in the late 70s, early 80s. Right. But uh, yeah, I've got original panels there in the car. So we'll be putting those on, or you guys will be. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, the old Vector mags, of course, are be coming off. And wow. we'll get some uh, some salt tires. And mm. Gosh, and you're determined to run this at Bonneville. Absolutely. It's a sickness. I'm telling you, it's a sickness. Tell us about this uh, power plant. Yeah, so this has, a, uh, this has a 327, 350 horse in it right now. And uh, we're going to run in the B engine class, which is going to be a 427 big block that we'll put in here. And big block was first, or 65 Corvette was the first year of the big block. That's what we'll be running. How's, well, how fast have you gone in this car that you care to share with us? It's been, it's been uh, fast. <laughs> Come on, go, go, we're, not, we're not the cops here. Just tell us how, how, how much. How uh, this car, I've had it up to about 130. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good. And the speedometer goes to 160, right? I believe so. Okay, there you go. So you left some yeah. on the table. I wasn't looking for, at the speedometer no, at the time. <laughs> I'm sure you were. You're white knuckling that wooden wheel. <laughs> all right, so now you brought it to the garage shop. Why? First of all, why did you choose us? Of everybody in the country, why did you come to us? Yeah, for a couple of years, I've been sort of, uh, you know, eyeing someone that would help me with a car and a build for land speed racing. And I mean, everything you guys have done from the Talladega and the Daytona and now the, uh, the Fords, of course, um, I figured this is the place to come. So I went to Bonneville, met you guys there at Bonneville, okay. even though it was canceled this year, yeah. got a lot of good information, met a lot of good people, and, and it was clear that, yeah, this is the place to bring it. This is the part we're going to tell you, Wayne, what are we going to do to this car? <laughs> it's going to go through a huge transformation, all right, all right. for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Firstly, I'm a Corvette guy, and, and yeah, we talk about that, but... Go ahead. Tell us what's going to happen. What are you going to, what are yeah, we going to so do? Yeah, so I'm, you know, I'm a, I'm a big NCRS fan, so I'm big about original Corvettes. But like I said, since this car was transformed quite a bit, it's got a counter exchange block in it. I don't feel too bad about it. But yeah, we're obviously full roll cage, new motor, back mm. to original body style. Mm. We're going all ride tech suspension. Um, yeah, quite a few changes. Wow. And and this is something you're determined to go to Bonneville with this car. We'll and, be there in August. Oh boy. Aaron has guaranteed me that. Oh, he did? Did you get it in writing? <laughs> he did. No, well, should I have? No, 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 don't worry about it. We're all good for it. Ask anybody. Um, I, I, first of all, I, 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 this car is beautiful. Absolutely, the color, everything. And uh, that you have entrusted the garage shop to do this says a lot. But your trust, what we've done. But uh, I'm going to hate it when we start cutting. I, I probably can't watch. Um, lucky if you want to work on these, but it's going to be awesome to watch. And, and you folks will follow along. We'll uh, do the transformation. We'll share with you. And... Um, Whew. It's gonna look different. It's gonna be. But fun. I will say one thing. I'm I'm glad we'll go to Bonneville, because you know we all love Bonneville, and once you go there, it's like it just it bites you forever. Um, but I'm looking for the results that we're gonna see on there. So it'll be interesting. Now you're yeah, gonna go back to California and just get pictures from us as updates. Yeah, I'm sure I'll be out. Of here. <laughs> I'll be out here. <laughs> all right. Well, folks, uh, you've met the owner. You know why the car is now here, and you're gonna see the transformation. And um, it's going to be different, but the results that will show up in Bonneville in August, right? In August. The yeah. record's 236. 236? See if we can beat it. You can do that, no problem. <laughs> Thanks.